guys! So today, I went shopping, and I am very, very aware that I posted a video, like, 11 hours ago. But, I had to go grocery shopping, and obviously, if you watched any of my other videos, it was at Target. I'm obsessed with Target. It's my favorite store ever. Having one across the street from me is deadly. I am going to go bankrupt because of Target. It's just going to happen. Can't help it. Love it. Has everything I could ever want in that store. So, with that being said, I did go shopping for groceries and I bought a few other things. Kind of a lot of other things, actually. So, I was going to do a Target haul video. Here's my Target bag. And um, I actually was super excited about this trip because I saved a bunch of money. And I don't know. Saving money just gets me really, really excited. I'm like one of those extreme couponers, but I'm not that good, obviously. I, I don't save like hundreds of dollars. Today I saved 34 which was a lot to me, and I was super, super excited about that. Um, so, yeah, I saved a bunch of money, and that made me really happy. Um, so I'll just begin with what I got. This is the first thing I got, and these are two of the exact same things. And this is a light blue color, if you can see, and it's like blue fabric, and it's got a little bit of a white, like, flex, or like, string almost to look through it, but it's, it's, it looks very natural. It's like, it doesn't have like an actual string, it's kind of one solid material. So I have one in blue, and I have one in this, like, purple, it's kind of like a lavender-ish color. And I have two, and they're just plain v-neck long sleeve t-shirts, but they were on super super sale and I just really liked the colors and for fall and winter one of my favorite things to do is to have a plain top with some like jeans or something or if I can find any I don't have any now but if I can find some pattern pants with pattern pants because I really really want to get some if y'all know where I can get some good ones please tell me below I will buy them I'm super excited I really want to get some I don't have any right now so if you just wear my jeans, I like to wear a nice scarf or maybe a statement necklace, which is another thing that I've been wanting to buy, but I haven't found any I really like for a price that I felt like was reasonable. So I will wear those. Um, if you live in a very cold climate, these probably aren't the best things for you. I live in Florida. So it does get cold, but nothing extreme. We don't have snow, obviously, so they're fine for me. Um, but like I said, if you live colder, this might not be the best product for you. The other thing, and this was one of those like in the checkout line things that I bought, it's my Cosmo magazine. I love Cosmopolitan magazine. I have been reading this for years and I actually haven't picked one up in a long time because I haven't had time to read them with school going on and it just, I feel like I can never justify the time. But I just had an exam and I don't have any exams next week. I really don't have too much homework this weekend. So I said, you know what? It's time for some me time, which I feel like is really healthy and a great thing when you are in school. So this weekend, I'm kind of just going to veg out, probably watch a lot of YouTube, to be totally honest, and read my Cosmo and just do some homework, but nothing crazy. Just kind of have a relaxing weekend, because that's what I feel like I need. Um, this, I've never tried this before. If you are from the UK, then you've probably seen this, probably tried it, I don't know. It's from Boots Botanics, The Power of Plants, Gentle Cleansing Cream Ultra Calm. Removes makeup and impurities for sensitive skin. And it just kind of smells like your typical makeup remover. It doesn't have any kind of exciting smell. But I just wanted to try it. I actually like the makeup remover I have right now, but it's really expensive and it kind of... I don't know what happens, but I like lose product out of it all the time. Like, it seems like it evaporates, or I don't know if it leaks into my little tin that I keep it in. I don't know, but I'm hoping that this won't do that. And I hope I like it, because that's significantly cheaper than the other stuff I bought. And if you don't know this, we don't have a boots. Uh, as far as like, just boot stores in America, at least that I've seen. Maybe they're somewhere else, but they're not in Florida and Georgia. This is something that I've never tried anything like this. This is Salon Graphics Invisible Dry Spray Shampoo. I have never used a dry shampoo. I know a lot of people think it's crazy. A lot of people love dry shampoo. But 
in Florida in the summer, um, pretty much from like May to September, you can't go a day without washing your hair. You just sweat too much. It's ridiculously hot outside. And I just feel like really unhygienic if I don't wash my hair every day. Well, now it's getting slightly cooler and I don't sweat very much. Um, so I can definitely skip days of washing my hair. And I'm really interested in trying this, seeing if I like it, seeing how it works. I actually don't know how it smells. I didn't smell it in the store, so maybe I should have done that. But I just think I should try it and see how I like the product and the idea of it. This is also from the Salon Graphics brand. Um, I don't know anything about the brand. To be totally honest, it was just on sale. And this is Professional Shaping Hairspray. And I like the hairspray I have, but I don't think it holds exactly as good as I want. I kind of do the typical 80s. Flip your head over, spray, flip your head back up, grab pieces, spray like that, if you know what I'm talking about. Because I have really big hair. I know it. I love it. I embrace it. And I do like the hairspray I have. I just feel like it could hold a little better. Because if you've ever been to Florida, you know your hair just gets flattened. So if I can use that and it helps, I'm all for it. This is kind of a housewareish thing that I bought. And it's a Yankee Candle Apple Pumpkin Picking. And I like it. I wouldn't say I love it. But it's my favorite of the fall scents that they had because I wanted to get something for fall and my other candle that sat right up here in my bedroom burned out so I needed a new one. This, my morning burst facial scrub. I just bought this within the week actually and no I haven't used it all but actually the one I bought wasn't full for some reason. I think people were like messing with it in the store and I tried it and I loved it. I thought it was great. It really does wake you up. Now, let's not get extreme here. It's not like drinking a cup of coffee for your face. It's nothing that exciting. But I did feel more awake after using it. And for me, which, like, getting out of bed is, like, the hardest part of my day. I'm not kidding. I am not a morning person at all. I usually yell at my roommates in the morning. And that's not my personality. I just, I don't like mornings. I'm not that kind of girl, so... So I think that'll make me feel more waking up, awoke, awake, more awake, excuse me, um, is definitely good for me. And this was on sale, and I figured I was going to rebuy it anyway. Might as well buy it when it's on sale. This is something that I've been needing for a really long time, and it's just a watch. If you work in a veterinary hospital, you have to have a watch. Also, I just like you need one for your everyday life. I just feel like it's a necessity that everyone should have. And this one is silver, and it's got like a white enamel chain in the middle. It's got like just a white face. It's not really pearl or opalescent or anything. It's just kind of like a flat white with some crystals all around it. And I thought it was pretty. Um, nothing super, super exciting, but I definitely thought it was pretty. I think I'll wear it, and I think I'll like it. Um, I do have a watch that I love, and it's my grandfather's but it's too big so it kind of like swooshes uh, that's a word to me um, up and down my wrist and it kind of gets in the way and if it broke I would be heartbroken so I don't wear it all the time and it actually doesn't need a new battery right now to be totally honest that's another reason why I haven't been wearing it these are kind of a fun present or not present but thing that I bought and they're little socks and they're Halloween and they're purple with some little purple polka dots up here and some little gray skull and crossbones and I love Halloween socks or really any seasonal socks seasonal socks and animal socks love animal socks one of my favorite things in the world but I really love seasonal socks and I love this length of socks because I think they're great with boots I wear like a skinny jean and a boot a lot and I feel like if you wear the athletic or the crew cut or just the sh any kind of shorter sock that, at least for me, they'll like roll down under my ankle and then you just step on them all day and that's super annoying. So I bought these. I think they're really cute. I will wear them all year round because I'm just that kind of person and I really liked them and they were super, super cheap at, I want to say, 90 cents. So I can afford 90 cents. 
This is something, it's not super exciting, but it's a Jergens Ultra Healing Extra Dry Skin Moisturizer. It's just a nice little hand cream. I have heard great things about this specific hand cream. Also, I did just buy a hand cream in the other haul video I did a couple of days ago. Maybe like, it's within the last week. But that's for my book bag. I don't carry an actual like bag or purse during the week at school because it's just not practical for me because you already have your book bag and I have a little pocket on the outside that I can just put all of like my necess Ugh. I'm sorry, all my like, necessities in there and everything is good. So I don't carry a bag also because it just gets in the way and it's just something else to keep up with. It's kind of annoying. So I've been keeping that other hand cream that's like, I want to say Vaseline brand in my book bag and I like it, but I need one for my actual bag too so I don't have to always switch back and forth. So I'm going to try this one. And it doesn't really have much of a scent. It just kind of smells like a hand cream. You know what I'm talking about. Um, So, I mean, that's okay. I didn't really want anything with too strong of a scent unless I really loved it because I'm going to be putting it on all day. These next two things I kind of got together. And this I found in the dollar bin, and I just thought he was super cute. It's a little candle holder, and I love candles. And he's a turkey. And I don't have too many Thanksgiving decorations. So I figured he was cute, especially for 90 cents again. Steel. Super excited about it. And so I had to buy this little candle to go with it. Because I did have a little candle, but I just burned it all out. And this is called, it's a Yankee Candle Cinnamon and Spice. And it's very strong, especially when you shove it up your nose like I just did. But I think it'll be good. I'm just going to probably keep it in my bathroom, to be totally honest. Um, and I liked the color, and it was kind of a folly scent. It was definitely the most folly scent that they had in the little miniatures. So I'm excited about it. I think I'll really use that little perky man. This is another pair of socks. I actually like these a little better. And they're bright green with a purple spider web and some black spiders on them. I mean, how can you not buy these when you see them? Let's be honest. I don't know. I have to buy seasonal socks whenever I see them. So I really loved these. I thought they were really cute. Again, the length is perfect for me. So I'm probably my favorite length of sock. Um, so yeah, I was really excited about those also. Um, the last two things I got, okay. They're not... Well, this is not super exciting, but it's definitely something I needed. It's the Essie All-in-One 3-Way Glaze Base Top Coat in Health Strengthen. And I didn't have a base coat at all. And the top coat that I did have was kind of old and got sticky. And instead of being clear in the bottle, it had like a slight yellowish tint. Kind of nasty. So I was like, okay, I am buying a new top coat. And I want it to be good. Um, not like a cheap one, to, so it didn't do that again. So I buy an Essie one. I know Essie's a really good brand of nail polish, and I think I will really like that. And then last but not least, um, this is a Pixie eyeliner in this silky eye pen. And I actually just bought my first one of this brand last week in my other haul video. Um, and I really like it. It comes on really nicely. It's a little thick for my taste. But you can just smudge it, and that's not too bad. And I think it's got really good pigmentation, especially if you're like me, and I like just a little bit of sparkle around my eyes. Again, I just think it makes my eyes pop a little more. And so this is the brown color. And brown is more like a copper. I think that's actually what it's called. Yeah, number 10, Copper Glow. I don't know if you can read that. But that's what it says. Just believe me. Um, and... Brown is my favorite eyeshadow or excuse me, eyeliner color, and I didn't have any more left. I have like little nubs on my two eyeliner pens, so I was like, okay, I have to buy some more of that. That's just not something I can live without. So that's all. That's my haul. It's all set up on my desk right now. It makes me really happy. Um, so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. And I really, really am excited about my new channel and my YouTube. And I hope you all are excited with me. Um, I hope you all are. If there's anything you want to see me do, any kind of beauty video or anything else, actually, I'm not solely doing beauty. I know that's pretty much all I have done recently. 
But that's not all. If you want to see me do anything at all, please just let me know in the comments and I will for sure try to do them. Um, another thing, if you have any suggestions as far as beauty or products or really anything, just let me know down there. I am always for suggestions because I do have makeup. I do know kind of how to use it. I feel like I'm pretty good at it at least. But I'm always for new products. I'm always for trying something new and exciting and it really makes me happy. So um, I just really appreciate anything that you can help me with. Especially if you know how to make good YouTube videos as far as like quality wise and editing. Because this is actually the second time I filmed this haul because I made it on YouTube and an error occurred. Which actually happened to me earlier in my other my makeup collection haul, uh, not haul, just my makeup collection if you've seen that other video, happened to me again, so it's really frustrating. So I'm trying this on just like my webcam, like through another software in my computer. I'm hoping YouTube will accept this. If not, I'm going to have to film this for a third time, which I'll do because I just get to keep looking at all my products, which I don't really mind. But hopefully I don't have to do that because I do still have some things I need to do tonight and it is like 11.45 but that's okay um I hope you will have a wonderful weekend look for more videos from me because they'll be coming out and just yeah have a wonderful time great weekend be safe be smart and just I will see you super soon so bye